All of those are little baby jellyfish. I think. Fuel stop, water, gas, diesel, uh, right here in Nassau, 15 cents a gallon. You can't drink it, but cheapest water around. And then right behind us is the anchorage right there. That's Atlantis, so it's pretty easy, all things considered. <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the Berry Island, and guess who's here? Ricky Doctor. She's helping. This is how you do it. Here. She's like, you're too fat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it deeper for you. We are at Devil's Key and we're just exploring a little bit. In a little bit we're gonna meet up with Rigging Doctor and do some snorkeling. Uh, but we want to get some beach walking first. This is in the Berry Islands. It's a cool place. It's pretty uh, mellow and chill. There's not like super yachts and stuff, which there was an abundance of in the Exumas. So. Uh, this is a little bit nicer with regard to being remote. I think. Is it alive? Yeah. It's gotta be. Uh, it's Can we touch one. it? Yeah, sure. It's just... Whoa. It's so hard. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> cool. So Herbie's cleaning the shell. <laughs> He's a oh, looker yeah. now. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, they're that big fanny fanny kind that people said you could eat. Yeah, raw. Yeah. To the blue hole. Yeah. To the blue hole. Right. So we have to climb a little bit. There's Herbie and Ronnie. Ooh, <laughs> Having problems with bugs. All of a sudden, there's a hole. <laughs> that is quite the hole. Oh, wow. Yeah.
I jumped a second time and I had my goggles in my hand. And they shattered. <laughs> and apparently they cut my hand too. Underneath the overhang. It's cool that there is an underneath. Yeah. I thought it was just like a little trail. It's way better. It's actually got like legitimate stalactites and stuff. Yeah, I'm going. There's a bottle of something. Somebody left. Whoa. Way faster than the snorkel. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna upset. So we, we found some coconuts. Now we're just gonna open them up and have coconut milk while we uh, watch Captain Run. Coconut water is really coconut water. Yes. Yeah, yeah, coconut. In the Bahamas. Are you? Ari is very interested. <laughs> Pour out the water. The water. Is this oh, that's fine. This was a. Uh, Gonna try this. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> Go and rub it all over each other. <laughs> what do you think? It doesn't blend with whatever I had before. Here. Yeah. You can put it. Ready? In here. Yeah. We usually just put it into the water. Yeah. Yummy. Do this. There she goes. <laughs> what do you got, Arya? Make part. Well, actually, maybe she just pulled the, the top off. But yeah. should you open that one now? Yeah. Trade. <laughs> this one's already open. <laughs> we have Rigging Doctor over and we are having a movie night because Maddie's never seen Captain Ron and we just happen to have Captain Ron available to watch. So we got the generator working, which means we have enough power to run the projector and watch a movie. The luxuries of life.
Sailing Vessel Wisdom for an hour sailing <laughs> to try it out. So Ryan is going to practice by himself pulling up the anchor and sailing an hour south without me. And just the dog in him. Fo's Conk Shack restaurant. Fo's Conk place. Shack. Shack. Say that again. Fo's Conk Shack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I heard you have a famous, a famous drink. <laughs> What's that look like? Is it zoomed in on them? I think so. No? That's what it looks like. It's really good. Mmm. This is a rum drink here. <laughs> it's cold, which makes it good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. I yeah, it's conch fries. Yeah. Ah. Conch fries. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. Um, and six foot of water. <laughs> We, we called ahead and ordered, and it had four things available, so we ordered one of each. <laughs> so, now we're gonna eat fish, lobster, conch, and concrete. Today we came across from the berries at Chub Key all the way over to Northern Cat Key. It's kind of a long day and weird conditions because there's a bunch of storms going by, changing the wind angle and all that. Uh, and tomorrow we're gonna head out early and basically head out and hop in the Gulf Stream and ride it up to West Palm Beach. So it's a little bit sad to be leaving the Bahamas, but we got stuff to do, responsibilities and priorities to take care of back stateside. So tomorrow we get back and uh, Tuesday, I think we'll do customs check-in for the U.S. It has been a stormy return to the United States pretty much all day long. We started by, ooh, my eyes are bloodshot. We started by dodging storms um, and motoring with the jib up because the wind was right behind us. Uh, and once we hopped into the Gulf Stream, we actually made really good time. I think our average speed is about 9.2 for this trip, which is crazy for us. Um, but. The storms kind of built and got us, so we got stuck in a couple storms. The highest wind we saw was about 27 and we were running at about 10 knots, so that was, that was a pretty strong on the storm. It's just been really wet with some um, thunder and lightning, which I don't really like thunder and lightning. But So despite it being very stormy and the following waves being kind of like intimidating looking, even though they don't feel bad, we are making it. And we will be there in the next hour or so. Then we have to figure out the uh, check-in process. I think we call on the phone, and then tomorrow we actually go somewhere and do customs. So we'll figure it out. Uh, we called yesterday, and now we're checking into border control. We both have to uh, come in person to get cleared. Uh, we just got fuel at the marina next door, so the boat's there right now with the dog and we'll see how this goes. 
interesting.